Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. Cindy has the night off. It's that time of year where germs and viruses are spreading rapidly, especially when it comes to children. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell has more on what doctors say is going around. Tanisha. Well, we spoke with pediatrician Yolanda Spragans. She says between now and March is the peak time where a lot of kids will become sick. Kids, you know, are just in general not very hygienic. And so they share a lot and mostly germs with the weather changing and it getting colder and they're inside more. We tend to get a lot more sick kids. Dr. Spragans typically sees about 30 patients a day around this time of year. Look, big breath. <sighs> Upset stomach, vomiting and diarrhea are symptoms she's seen a lot lately. This year it seems that we have had a lot more um, gastrointestinal viruses. I'm not sure why that is, but it seems like this year we've had, you know, kind of repeated cycles. This wasn't the case last year, but Dr. Spragan says she's not sure why the stomach virus is going around as much as it is. Most of the germs are more contact spread, but a lot of things are respiratory spread, um, you know, coughing and, you know, spreading germs that way. And it's just hard to avoid when you have a lot of kids in one space or a lot of people in one space. That includes classrooms. Back in February, more than 3,000 Hamilton County students and hundreds of teachers were out of school because of illnesses. A school spokesperson says each school will be cleaned during Christmas break. In the meantime, Dr. Spragan says everyone should keep a few things in mind. Keep your hands clean for everybody. And you know, in the proper way to cough, you know, cough into your elbow or your shoulder um, and keep your hands clean. <laughs> and if you are sick, if your child is sick, keep them home. We're told five Hamilton County elementary schools will get a thorough and extensive cleaning during Christmas break. They include Lookout Mountain, Nolan, Woodmore, Snow Hill and DuPont elementary schools. Those schools will also be fogged to kill viruses and bacteria. In the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.